हेलो एवरीवन माई सेल्फ फाल्गुनी सोलंकी वेलकम टू अवर चैनल टुडे वी विल लर्न अ लेसन फ्रॉम क्लास ट्वेल्थ सेकंड बुक विस्टा दिस वन इज अवर सप्लीमेंट्री बुक इन विस्टा टोटल वी हैव एट लेसन फ्रॉम दिस फर्स्ट वन इज द थर्ड लेवल टाइगर किंग जर्नी टू द एंड ऑफ द अर्थ the enemy should wizard hit mommy on the face of it ivan's tries an o level and eight one memories of childhood so our first lesson is the third level the present lesson is written by jack finney jack finney's original name was walter braden his timing was october 2 1911 2 November fourteen, nineteen ninety-five. He was an American author and best known for his science fiction and thrillers. So obviously, this lesson, the third level, is also a science fiction story. First of all, let's see the main characters of the story. So our first character is Charlie. Charlie was an ordinary person. he likes to collect stamps and wants peaceful life second character is loza charlie's wife and third one is sam he is a psychiatrist and charlie's friend so let's see the lesson before you read have you ever had any curious experience with others sorry which others find hard to believe here writer as first of all to the readers to us have you ever had any curious experience for us this one is like adventure for but others it is hard to believe they are not ready to accept our experience so let's see why the writer asks this kind of question we will get our answer after the explanation of this chapter the presidents of the new york central and new york new haven and hartford railroads will swear on a stack of time tables that there are only two in the beginning of the lesson the narrator said that the president of new york central and new york new haven and hartford railroads will swear on stack stack yani ki uh heap or bunch bunch of time tables they swear on it why they were swear swear on it ke hum log bola kasam khana there are only two so here there is direct you know introduction of something but what they are discussing about something two but what is uh, what was that two let's see but i say there are three because i have been on the third level of the grand central station so i yani ki our narrator so now we get the clear thing that the all the presidents of this they said that there are, there are only two station but our character our main character said that no that is no station which the presidents of different areas mention but actually there are three station and third one third station of the grand central station and our whole lesson is based on the third level of the grand central station yes i have taken the obvious step i talked to a psychiatrist friend of mine among others the letter says that i have taken the obvious step yani ki clear step I explain all of my peoples or my friends that I have seen the third level of the Grand Central Station, but all the people said no. There are only two station. Third one is not exist. So he thought, yani ki our narrator thought that there must be some mental issues. So he consulted many peoples. Among them, one was his own friend, psychiatrist friend. I told him about the third level. at grand central station and he said it was a waking dream like wish fulfillment 
when our narrator said his problem to his friend, his psychiatrist friend. His friend said that it's just the waking dream, like daydreaming. I said, I he said I was unhappy. That made my wife kind of mad. But he explained that he meant the modern world is full of insecurity, fear, war, worry and all the rest of it. And that I just want to escape. So our narrator's psychiatrist friend said that our narrator was unhappy. And when narrator's wife came to know that the psychiatrist friend said unhappy person to her husband. See, behave like mad. But when the friend explained that how and why. Here the modern world is full of insecurity. As we know, the most of the people live a single life. And the loneliness is the reason of their insecurity, their fear, the wall, worry and all the rest of it. All the rest of if energy, all the negative things. We, we think when we are alone. And I just want to escape. I just want to escape. I escape yani ki bhag jana. So flee. Why? The psychiatrist friend, psychiatrist friend said that our narrator want to escape because according to psychiatrist friend, he was alone. He was insecure by war or worry. Means many negative things were there. And just because of it, he want to escape from the real world. And he want to live in waking dream. Yani ki daydream. Well, who doesn't? It says that who doesn't want to stay in this reality? Everyone want to live in their own imagination, in his own happiness. As I told you in the beginning of the character's introduction, our narrator want a peaceful life. And peaceful life means is you cannot get the hundred percent peaceful life in your in your reality. For this, like our narrator, we have also take the support of imagination, daydreaming. Everybody. I know wants to escape but they don't wander down into any third level at Grand Central Station. I any narrator said that the person whom I know all want to escape from the reality but they are not lucky enough to get or found the third level at Grand Central Station. So here narrator said that I am lucky one or I am special one who found the third level of Grand Central Station. Now let's see the what the exact story of that Grand Central Station and how our narrator found it. Let's see. But that's the reason he said and my friends all agree. Everything points to it. They claim. But that's the reason. But that's the reason. Which reason? We will find. He said and my friends all agree. Here he and his psychiatrist friend. And whenever the psychiatrist friend said that you want to escape from the reality and the reasons was because you are feeling un insecure, you are worried, you feel like anxiety, all these negative thoughts. And all the friends of Charlie also accept that whatever the psychiatrist friend said. Everything points to it. They cl uh, claim. They claim everything points and whatever the points claimed by the psychiatrist friend, they accept it. My stamp collecting, for example, first claim was stamp collecting. Our narrator has habit or hobby of stamp collecting. For example, that's a temporary refuse from reality. Refuse, yani ki, like not accepting the things. Bhag jana. So the friends and the psychiatrist also said that you have a habit of uh, collecting the stamp. And they thought that stamp, stamp collecting is also one way to escape from the reality. Well, maybe, but my grandfather didn't need any refuse from reality. Our narrator said, okay, according to you, whatever I do, or whatever I spend my time with stamp collecting is just a way to refuse the reality. But my grandfather also did the same. When, and my grandfather didn't have any reason to refuse the reality. Then 
why he did things were pretty nice and peaceful in his day from all i hear and he st started my collection now it is is that in those days yani ki in my grandfather's days all things were very happy they don't need to refuse from reality then why he did stamp collecting as you know stamp collecting it means हम लोग कई बार देखते हैं कि हम लोग घर पे कई बार एनवलप आते हैं तो एनवलप में राइट साइड पे हम लोगों को स्टैम्प दिखे मिलते हैं देख सकते हैं जहाँ पे मोस्टली गांधी जी का स्टैम्प होता है और अलग अलग प्राइस होती है वन रुपीज टू रुपीज फाइव रुपीज टेन रुपीज तो इस टाइप के जो स्टैम्प होते हैं उनके बारे में यहाँ पे बात की गई है एंड ही स्टार्टेड माई कलेक्शन ही यानी कि ग्रैंड फादर स्टार्टेड अटर्स कलेक्शन इट्स नाइस कलेक्शन टू Even my grandfather had also a nice collection, and I continue the legacy of my grandfather. Blocks of four, or particularly every U.S. issue, first day covers. The letter says that my grandfather had the first day cover U.S. stamps. Now, what is first day covers? First day covers means that whenever the new stamps arrived in the market, the person, i.e., the collector, who liked to collect all these stamps. uh they visited the post office or the place where the stamps they can easily collect they choose an empty envelope and put a stick their stamp on envelope and send that empty envelope ya yeah, blank envelope on their own address and like this way they got the collection of stamps jaise ki जब भी कोई नया स्टैम्प मार्केट में आने वाला होता है वो लोग क्या करते हैं जिसको स्टैम्प कलेक्ट करने की लाइक like, हैबिट होती है हॉबी होती है वो लोग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जहाँ वहाँ उस प्लेस में जाते हैं जहाँ पे ये स्टैम्प मिलते हैं वो एनवेलप में एक ब्लैंक पेज या डाल देते हैं या कुछ भी डालेंगे और एनवेलप में ऊपर जो स्टैम्प है नया स्टैम्प मार्केट में आया है उनको वहाँ पर लगा देंगे और उस एनवेलप खुद के एड्रेस पर ही सेंड कर देंगे उस तरह से उन लोगों के पास ये पूरा जो नया कलेक्शन है स्टैम्प का वो कलेक्शन होता रहेगा एंड सो ऑन प्रेजिडेंट रूजवेल्ट कलेक्टेड स्टैम्प टू यू नो तो यहाँ पे जो प्रेजिडेंट रूजवेल्ट है ही हैड ऑल्सो हॉबी टू कलेक्ट स्टैम्प सो वेन रेटर से दैट इफ आई एम इफ आई डीड ऑल दिस थिंग्स टू एस्केप फ्रॉम द रियालिटी देन माई ग्रैंड फादर वॉज वन ऑफ दैम एंड द प्रेजिडेंट रूजवेल्ट वॉज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ दैम हु हैड हैबिट और हॉबी टू कलेक्ट द स्टैम्प्स वाई वाई दे नीड because you cannot judge a person by just his uh, just by his hobby to collecting the stamps